when dealing with business receivables and handling all of the invoices and making sure everyone gets paid, one of the most difficult parts is integrating all of the invoices that are sent via mail and getting them into your database or your system. And a lot of this is done today manually, still today. And I'd like to show you a tool using the Mindy.com invoice processing API. We'll take an image or a PDF of an invoice and extract all the information that you might need so that you can automatically insert all of that into your accounting software. And so I built an example using Node.js that uses the API. Uh, here's the example invoice I'm going to use. I, it's from the guy who did some roofing for me earlier this summer. And we had a leak around our uh, chimney. Um, and so you can see, you know, it's Silver Hammer. Uh, the only thing I've done here is remove my address just for privacy. Um, you can see I spent $350 and we paid some tax and the total is $380. All right, so what I'm going to do is I've built this uh, invoice parsing tool with Glitch. Um, so the code is all right here. Um, if you're interested, you can go to this glitch page and you can remix it and use this code yourself and just get started right away and get going. All right, so I'm going to choose my file. It's this invoice right here. I'm going to hit submit. When I hit submit, the file gets uploaded. It goes to the node server. The node server processes it, sends it off to mindy.com through the API. The API parses it, sends back a JSON response, which gets parsed, and then I show some of the results to the end user. So I hit submit and we can see how that works. All right, so here's the data extracted. There's a lot of information that's extracted from the API. In this case, I only have six, uh, six fields that I'm using. If you go to mindy.com, you sign up for the API, which is free. You can uh, see all of the endpoints that are available. Um, so you can see it pulled up. Let's open up the receipt again, just so you can see that for reference. Okay, so Silver Hammer, invoice number 1277. Uh, the date was uh, June 29th, 2020, June 29th, 2020. Um, you can see this is the US date. This is the ISO date. I could figure that out. Um, it knew this US dollars. It was $350 and then 380 and 45 cents afterwards. Like super cool. This did it all automatically. Uh, you could imagine having a form that reads the invoice. You check that the values are all correct. You hit submit and it just goes right into your tool. None of that manual tedious, you know, data entry. You hit parse another invoice. It reloads the original page. We start over again. All right. So let's look at the code. The first page is this view right here, right? It's a, um, a very simple page built with Express and Pug. Uh, the only thing you really of mentioned here is a form uh, where we take in a file called image source and we submit it through the button called submit. That goes up to the node server, gets processed, and the result page is really, really simple. Again, um, let's just run it so we can see Nice. go. Here's the data extracted, merchant, and then here's the merchant file that was the merchant name that was extracted, invoice number and the number, date, and it shows the date, and then the currency, the total before taxes, and the total with tax, right? Pretty straightforward stuff. So let's look to see what happens on the node server where all the magic happens. Close that. All right, so here are all the modules that I'm using, um, PUG and the path and file system and Axios and form data and formidable. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to, for rendering, which is Pug and Express. Um, the path and the file system to do a little bit of file maintenance, which you'll see in a second. And then Axios to submit the form up to Mindy. And then I've got two form processing uh, modules here as well. The first page that loads is that index page. Um, it's a GET request and it just renders that index page. When you fill out the form and you hit submit, that's sent as a post. So now we use the post here. Uh, Formidable takes the incoming form. Um, it parses it and breaks it into fields and files. We're interested in the file here. The file name is image source. And so we get the image name, the path, the type, and the file size. Formidable saves the image locally in a temporary file with the temporary name. And here I'm just renaming that temporary file with the original file name just for 
synchronization so that when the response comes back with a file name, the file names match, right? That's just a good error checking thing. So I rename the file to the original file name, not that temporary name. And then I make a request with that new image. When I make a request, I take the, uh, I create a form called data. I append a key file with the image. And then my configuration is a post to the MindD endpoint. The endpoint and the token you can get from MindD.com. You sign up for free for the invoice processing uh, API. You create a token, which then you save in your um, environmental variables. And, um, and it gives you all the endpoints and all the information you need. Oh, and then I also attach the data. So I add uh, in my config file, I've got the connection, the data, I send that off via Axios and I await the response. That response comes back as JSON and I can parse that JSON um, to get the currency, the value of the invoice, the merchant name, the date, the dollars before taxes and the dollars after taxes. Um, write all that to the console and then return that um, to the uh, invoice page, which is that final page that we saw the results on. And so I'm listening on port 3000 for all this to work. It's all up on Glitch, so feel free to check it out, remix it, and see how easy it is to take an invoice, just a photo of an invoice, and have this API find all of the values and attributes that you need and return them to you automatically without any of that tedious data entry. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. Watch this channel for a lot more videos from Mindy and try out these APIs. They're a lot of fun to work with.